Hello, my friends. Welcome back to a bundle play of AI The Somnium Files. I am the Fatless Bird. This is your story based gaming channel. And in the last episode, we found out that Renju unfortunately was killed in an absolutely horrific way. So now we're back to Boss's office. You look awful. Have you been sleeping any? Eh, not really. I mean, how could you sleep properly after all of this that's going on? My best friend was murdered, boss. Mm hmm. Exactly what I just said. I don't have it in me to sleep right now. Oh, it looks like we can look around her room once again. Oh, hello, Peter. I mean, Peter just scared the heck out of me because I pan left and I see this gigantic person standing right here. It's almost like, what are we doing? Oh, we're sitting down, aren't we? Okay, that, that makes sense. But man, that, that's kind of frightening. Okay, so let's uh pan around the office and try to check everything out. Uh, I think I missed uh, this AC vent last time, someone told me. Bags hanging on a rack. And what's funny about missing the AC event is, all throughout the Zero Escape series, I said, I bet you anything, there's going to be something where we have to look up. And I'm going to miss it. And for the whole series, we never need to look up to get something. And in this game, guess what? We had to look up. <laughs> Boss's chair. Shelves. And more shelves and more shelves. The entrance. More bags. Cold air is blowing from the AC. Alright. Uh, tombstone. R.I.P. There are wine bottles lined up. Uh, cabinet. Okay. A police officer mannequin. A flag with big catch on it. A soccer ball. It's a volleyball. An RC car. So if you're wondering why I'm clicking on everything, it's because A, uh, you need to click on everything because you may uh, there may be something that you click on that gives you information which you need to talk to someone about something. Uh, and the second reason is uh, there's quite a lot of funny things that can happen when you click on stuff as we saw in the last episode with the flying grandma in the distance. Uh, that was amazing. Uh, the Persian rug is laid out. Uh, let's see. A Soba restaurant door curtain. It's a Tanuki statue. Doesn't seem to be any real interactions between stuff in uh, Boss's office today. Uh, the coffee maker is sitting on the shelf. I think I missed this too. Because I mean, come on, look, look at that. It's like tucked in there. The Boss's desk. There are stickers all over the front. She has a computer on her desk. The type that has a monitor built in. There's a clock off to the side of her desk. The battery died on that thing, so the hands have stopped. A happy birthday banner decoration. A pumpkin. A bookshelf. It has a ton of things stuffed on it. Uh, an electronic darts game. Boss's chair. Skis. Snowboard. A triangular ruler. Stationary buck for in-air training. Symbols, boy band poster, map on the wall, public bath door curtain, police poster. It doesn't seem to be anything really today that we uh, uh that we can get some story information from. It's just it's just all repeats of what we've already seen. Plaster figure, more cabinets, coat hanger. There's a lot of stuff hanging from the coat hanger. More posters, pennants. We've already seen that, seen that. Looks like all the posters are tied together. Um, let's look all the way to the right here. There is a chair back here, but it's not lit up. So it's not something that we need to click on. All right, I think I clicked on everything in this room. Lifesaver. It's a floaty. 
Okay, now I think I clicked on everything in this room. Um, I'm just scanning one more time with the camera all the way up. And then I'll turn the camera all the way down. So we got the AC vent this time. What is that? Is that part of our leg? It's really weird. Um, okay, so yes, I do feel like we got everything. And if not, I'm pretty sure some of the comments will say, Hey, Flatless Bird, you missed this again. I'll be like, ah! Okay, let's uh, go ahead and talk to Peter first. Peter looks surprisingly serious. Why so serious? Uh, you seem troubled, Peter. Two murders, one right after the other. How could I not be? I agree with you, actually. I'm glad that our emotions are on the right frame here. Uh, do you have any thoughts on the culprit? Renju had his left eyeball removed. Right. Shoko, too. Uh-huh. So perhaps, Mr. Date, you are the killer. Well... Probably not. You're missing your left eye, so you steal them from others. I mean, what kind of game would have you be the killer when you're the protagonist? I mean, you've seen everything from our point of view, so it's not like... It's not like we're the killer. All the dots. Or are we? Nah, I, I don't think we're the killer. All the dots. Yep, you're not the killer. I would know. I'm kidding. Only a joke. I'm too tired for your jokes right now, Peter. Hmm. Actually, you lost your eye six years ago, correct? Yeah, but we don't remember anything about it, if I, if I remember correctly. Yes, but I don't remember anything from back then. Mm hmm I lost my eye and my memories. I was transplanted into your empty eye socket a year later. We have been together for more than five years. Why are you here anyway? Am I not allowed to be here? No, I didn't mean it like that. I was here first. I was just talking to the boss about Renju's murder. Okay, he's grayed out. Let's talk to boss. Uh, boss is sitting on a desk. She looks tired, like me. Uh, about Renju, what happened to Mizuku? What about you, getting any sleep? Uh, let's start with the uh, sleep part first because that seems to be less important. Of course not. I've still got a mountain of work piled up, answering to the higher-ups, the press. I'm just taking a little breather. Yeah, I came home today from work, and it's Friday, and I'm so glad it's Friday. I get a couple days off, which is really, really nice, because I got home today, and I was watching YouTube, and I fell asleep, and I just woke up at like 7 o'clock, so I've been asleep for like 2 to 3 hours. Um, and now I feel horrible because when you take an afternoon nap, you never feel good afterwards. Your body just feels lethargic all night long. Uh, so I definitely am looking forward to a good night's sleep tonight. Uh, what happened to Mizuki? She's sleeping at the hospital. They're going to give her counseling after she wakes up. I see. Her mother and her father. Yeah, it's probably a good thing that she's getting some help. What's... Uh, she stays with us, right? So, the fact that she's with us and we're out trying to catch a murder, it's kind of good that she has someone looking out for her. I hope she'll be okay. About Renju. You were the first on the scene, so you know this better than anyone, but Renju was murdered. Yeah. I mean, that that's the most bizarre suicide I have ever seen if it was self-inflicted. So, definitely a murder. No way this is a suicide. Yep. Well, what's with the strings, though? And the fact that his left eye was removed tells me that this was the same killer as Shoko. The serial killer. The left eye serial killer. Doesn't the have a ring. Cyclops killer. Uh, that has a good ring. I, I will admit that that does sound that does sound like a good name. What? That's the nickname that's been spreading around headquarters. Why did they say the new? New? Uh-huh. I, I love it when the protagonists are on the same page. Yes. Several years ago. Pewter. 
There is no point in hiding it from him. He would find out on his own eventually. Were we a victim of the original Cyclops killer? It's all over the news. These murders have gone viral, so to speak. The killings from six years ago have continued. The Cyclops killer is back. But is he back or is he a copycat? What actually happened to the original Cyclops killer? Do we know he's dead or what's going on? Six years ago. Is that what you were talking about, boss? <sighs> Fine. I, su I suppose he deserved it now. Sorry. Uh, about the instant six years ago. We have a name for it down at HQ. The original Cyclops serial killings. To distinguish it from this new one. It was six years ago in October. Okay, so right off the bat, I don't recognize any of those faces. Um, I, I know I'm not really supposed to, but it's just good to look sometimes to see if there's any connections. Uh, first off, what do we see? What well, They're all female. They're all of different uh, hair color. The same skin color. Um... Can't really short hair? No. I don't see a pattern just looking at the pictures. Go on. Four bodies were found in the mountains of Akikawa Valley. But the decomposition of the corpses were all at different stages. They were each killed sometime during May to September of that year. But they did have two things in common. They were all young women. And... Each corpse was missing their right eyeball. Pulled out posthumously. Oh, wait, hold on. You said they're missing their right eyeball. The killings of now are missing left eyeballs. Cyclops? A few days after the corpses were discovered, the killer sent a statement to the press. I killed them, and they are now my dear companions. Something like that. Well, that's messed up. He signed the statement under the name Cyclops. Hence the name, the Cyclops Killer. Hmm. The Cyclops is a mythological race of one-eyed giants. According to Greek myth, they are the children of Uranus, god of the sky, and Gaia, goddess of Earth. Cyclops were known for their outstanding strength and smithing ability. Yep, I have read the Percy Jackson series, and I know a lot about Greek mythology. Actually, I'm in the middle of reading the second Percy Jackson series, the, uh, the Heroes of Olympus. Uh, really, really great books, by the way. I mean, even me, a little older than most people, uh, I still enjoy the series a lot. Really well written. Although, sure, it's full of potholes, but, you know, whatever. So the letter to the press wasn't a fake? It was the real killer? Yes, it had to be. A picture of one of the victims right after she was killed was sent along with the letter. Was this Cyclops captured? So, no. In six years, we never got a single trace. So it may not be a copycat. It may still be the same killer who decided to switch an MO over which I was removed. That's... Normally when you hear about serial killers, they always do the same thing. But the eye changed. So maybe Cyclops is responsible for these murders as well. No, that's impossible. Why? For one, the original Cyclops killer only killed women. Renju doesn't fit that profile. Second, all of the victims had their right eyes removed. Okay, good. Boss is thinking the same thing I'm thinking. But Shoko and Renju... We're missing their left eye. I didn't think about the connection of all females versus uh, Renju, though. Um, that makes sense, too. The timing of the eye removal is also inconsistent. That picture is so gruesome. The original Cyclops killer removed the eyes after the victims were killed. Oh, interesting. But Shoko and Renju were both still alive. All the dots. All the that's horrible dots. But even so, you can't say for sure this isn't our guy. Maybe they're just doing things a little differently now. Or do you have another reason? All the dots. All the... I don't want to say anything dots. I'm sorry, Date. I can't say anymore. Yep, I figured. Bullshit, you can't. 
Heck yeah, let her know. It's a national secret. How can it be a national secret? Date, please forget about it. It's necessary information for the case. Come on. I told you already, you don't need to know anything about that case to investigate this one. The criminal for this case and the case six years ago are not the same. That's just such a load of... Iva, bring up all investigation records of the original Cyclops serial killings. Heck yeah, there you go. Come on, Iva, help me out here. I already had a look through the database while you were talking. Unfortunately, I found no relevant information. Uh... I also did not discover anything of note on the internet. Only amateur theories, all lacking credibility and evidence. Damn it. Hmm. Uh, before we... Okay, I just want to check with Pewter to see if there's anything else to say. Any other information? That's all we have for now. All right. Special Agent Date, we need you to continue your work. Yeah, I know. Right. I think I'll head back to where Renju was found. Sunfish Pocket. Date, you're exhausted. Why don't you get some sleep before you continue your investigation? I'm fine. Let's go, Iva. Understood. Sunfish Pocket, we go. By the way, if you look on the uh, the map, there, uh, Enter Zero noticed something, and it was on that map as well. But if you go back and rewind it and look at the map, or go to last episode um, at 33 minutes, uh, you'll see that there okay. is a familiar face. The vehicle is accelerating 2% slower than usual. Huh. But there's a familiar face in the, uh, in these screens on the buildings, which is really, really cool. Did you put anything in the trunk? No. What about the back seat? Back seat? Is someone in our car that shouldn't be in our car? Wait, are we just now noticing that Mizuki is back there? Is that what we're talking about? Wait a second, I thought she was in the hospital. How'd she get in my car? Uh, the steering wheel, dashboard. Uh, click on the same things I always click on when I get into the car. There's a con set, con set to console. There's a Did glove I put box. anything in there? You could have put a gold brick in there and it wouldn't slow us down this much. Have you checked the back seat? Oh, right. But I can't just turn around and look while I'm driving. Just check the rear view mirror. Uh, glove box, the mirror, the passenger seat, no one is sitting in it. Uh, anything else? Anything? 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 Uh, mm, oh, the gear shift. Okay. Mizuki. Hey, watch out! Eyes forward, stupid. Mizuki climbed up to the front and sat in the passenger seat. How did you get in here? Oh, we can click on things again. Hey, Date, what would happen if I grabbed the wheel and spun it super hard? Uh, uh, bad things? We would spend the rest of our very short time together thinking about how stupid that was. <laughs> so you see, that's why you click on everything. Hey, Date, why do they call it a dashboard? Because it makes the car go faster. Uh-huh. And why do they call it a tachometer? It measures how many tacos worth of revolutions the wheels make. <laughs> because the tortilla is round. <sighs> Obviously. A dashboard. Ah, oh, Finally getting some good interactions in the car. Is this where you keep your weird stuff? No. But don't look. Dang, is that obvious? <laughs> uh, yeah, this rear view mirror is so hard to click on when there's someone in the seat. There's no one in the back seat. Anything else? No. Center console, wheel, dashboards. We got the gear shaft or gear shift. How can I say that right? Wait, I see something. Passenger seat. Okay, let's talk to Mizuki. What are you looking at me for? Watch the road. I always have my head like this when I drive. You were looking forward before. No, I was just projecting an illusion. This is the real me. You project an illusion when you're by yourself? Your neck doesn't hurt doing that? No pain, no gain. What? Adults <laughs> have to make sacrifices. You'll understand when you're older. I don't think I'll ever understand you. 
Mizuki is sitting in the passenger seat. Uh, how are you doing? Well, I can still talk this time. Maybe I'm just getting used to it. Mizuki's psychological wounds have been healed by the sink. That's good. How did you even get in here? It wasn't locked. I just opened the door. I've been here for like 10 minutes. All the dots. Why don't your doors have auto locks? I know you like old cars, but you gotta lock the doors. You should be a little more apologetic for someone who just got caught breaking into my car. Mizuki does raise a valid point. Yeah, it's not like she was being secretive. She was clearly in plain sight. Uh, she could have just been lying down or something. If you are not more serious about security, you should consider replacing the car altogether. You too? Uh, nice weather we're having. If you have nothing to talk about, you don't have to say anything. Fair enough. Wow. You're an adult, shouldn't you know that already? If you start talking about the weather, it means you have nothing to say. Huh. Damn. <laughs> <Like a rat. laughs> She's smart. She's quick. Uh, what are you doing here? I ditched the hospital. They're probably freaking out over there right now. I'm taking you back. No, don't. Nothing will change if I stay at the hospital all day. You're going to investigate, right? Take me with you. I can help. How is a little runt like you going to be any help? I'm Renju's daughter. Maybe I'll notice something you don't. Something only his daughter would know. She does make a point, but at the same time, it's kind of gruesome to bring your kid to a crime scene. I don't know. My daddy was killed. I can't just stay at the hospital. All the dots. Yeah. All the dots. Oh, fine. Don't say I never did anything for you. You're going to take me along? Just promise not to interfere with the investigation. Got it. Do you want to catch the suspect? No, it's more like I don't like sitting still and moping all day. Fair enough. I've grown out of my brooding pretentious teenager phase. <laughs> Odd thing for a preteen to say. Are you not aware of Mizuki's mental prowess? She is far more developed than her classmates. She is even reading psychology papers by Alfred Adler. Sounds pretentious to me. So... You were talking to yourself again. I heard you. It's creepy. You should cut that out. I was talking to Aiba out loud before I noticed Mizuki in the car. That must be what she's referring to. Mizuki is still unaware I exist? Yeah, I know there's no reason to hide it, since she already knows about Abyss. It's just... hard to explain. I won't say anything yet. Understood. But I am ready to be introduced at any time. Aww. Just let me know when the time is right. It's not a proposal. No need to be so formal. Shit, I said that out loud. <laughs> Date, I think you should go to the hospital. <laughs> about Renju. Hey, about Renju. Do you have anything to tell me? Anything at all that might help? Well, it's not about Daddy, but I heard from Daddy that Mom had a secret. Uh huh. Shoko had a secret? What's Shoko's secret? Did you know that Mom was the representative of an investment company? Yeah, I did. That whole company was a big scam. Oh. Scam? Well, I don't know the details. They start up a company to get people to invest in it, then shut it down on purpose and keep the money. That's dirty. I hate I hate people who do things like that. She got really rich like that. Shoko did this? Yep. By herself? No, dummy. Of course it was with other people. I saw gangsters there sometimes. If she ever got into trouble, she had them take care of it. I am scanning all known crime databases, but I cannot find any reports referencing this. They must have been extraordinarily careful. Hmm. That that opens the door to like hundreds and thousands of suspects. And the problem is, we don't know any of them. Uh, anyway, I'm glad that you're okay. Seriously. Yeah, I'm glad you're okay. I'm not okay. Well. So, you want to go back to the hospital? I'd be more than happy to drop you off. That's not what I meant. Why are you always so pushy, Dante? I'm not pushy, I'm just worried. You've got a weird way of showing it. It doesn't look like you're worried. You're just weird. You've always got something smart to say, huh? You're just like Renju. Date. All the dots. What about Daddy? Nothing. You have no tact, do you? This is why you're single and always will be. Wow. Um. 
Hmm. <laughs> That's where you're wrong, kiddo. I look like a single father when you're around. Chicks love it. Yeah, chicks love to see creepy old men hanging out with a sixth grader. Hey, what are you implying? Ooh, did I make you mad? Now I'm stuck in a car with an angry old creepy pervert. Whoa! I am not an old creepy pervert. And even if you were my age, you're not my type. Ew, I don't want to know about your type. Yeah, 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 TMI. Hey, you started it. Stupid old man. Fuck <laughs> ass kid. <laughs> I got a cute little relationship, I will admit. All right, on to the murder scene. Sunfish Pocket, Sunday, 10.33 a.m. Well, actually, this is where we found the body. It doesn't necessarily mean this is where the murder scene is. Oh, our friend was back all the way to the left. Did you see him? Uh, Mizuki and I walk back into Sunfish Pocket. Oh, uh, Detective Date. Good to see you, sir. And this is... Have you looked through the case file yet? All the dots. Oh, no, oh, I am so sorry. She's the victim's... Yes. Please let us through. This looks like a cool place. The tritons, the seashells. Okay, so were the ropes holding up Renju's body by the uh by the kegs? Is that what was happening? So it was weighted down so the hook would go into his mouth. Uh, let's start with the left side because left is always right. A table. I can't find any clues on it. The store's menu. Dragon's Palace Pasta. 1800 yen. 1800? Isn't that pretty average? This is average? How much is 1800 yen? Store's menu. A uh, chair. Is that a spear? It more closely resembles a harpoon of sorts. I believe this is a trident. Any chance this was used in the murder? No, there are no traces of blood on the trident, and no indication that Renju was stabbed. Well, his eye was removed. I tried it. Doesn't look like it has anything to do with the case. Okay. Chairs. I Stop clicking on a chair! Um, I saw something green here. It was a box. I looked inside the wooden box. There's nothing in there. An empty wooden box. Barrel! If you're an Atelier fan, you'll understand the reference. A barrel made of wood. Nothing special about it. It would have been funny if he said barrel. I really would have liked to have seen that. The oil drum must be some kind of the interior decor. This oil drum is 200 liters. It weighs approximately 44 pounds when empty. Wow. Let me check inside. I should check inside the drum. What is this? What? There's something inside. I stepped up to the drum. You know, this I probably should have. I really probably should have looked around before doing this. This was kind of dumb. This is the kind of oil drum that has a lid, right? Correct. Let's open it. I really hope I didn't miss my opportunity to explore this, this place. Is... This is the wristwatch Renju always wore. And if I did miss my opportunity to look around the place, then what I do is I learn from my mistake. Next time I see like an x-ray or something, I know not to click that button until I look around everywhere else first. No doubt about it. But how did this get here? Okay, good. I can still explore. Ooh. I was a little frightened there for a minute. It has a 200 liter capacity, weighs 44 pounds empty. This kind of old drum that has a lid. All right. Still green though, which is weird. Renju's wristwatch was inside the oil drum. Okay, now it's uh, now it's gray. Stop clicking on the chair. The corpse was strung up near this counter. The autopsy report indicates that the contents of the victim's intestines were excreted upon death. Oh, I don't want to know that. But no traces of that have been found in the area, nor on the corpse itself. This evidence makes it highly likely that Renju was killed somewhere else. Hmm. It must have been considerably difficult to carry more than 150 pounds. So once again, the murder victim was carried from a different location. What do you mean? Renju weighed approximately 158 pounds. 
I can estimate a person's weight by analyzing their bone structure, muscle, and fat. Iba, can you recall the time we discovered the corpse? Of course. Uh, do I zoom in or do I continue looking? Uh, I think I continue looking. The walls are decorated with life preservers. Strange, nothing there. The store is signboard. It says sunfish pocket. It's a light that looks like a jellyfish. Probably not a clue. Okay. It's a bunch of stuff back here. I could use a drink. This is beer. Perhaps after this is all over, Date. A beer tap. A doorway to the kitchen. You can see the kitchen back there. Now they look suspicious. Okay. Just trying to be very careful here on what I'm scanning through. So look at the counter, we know that. We've looked at the lights. So basically eliminate this side of the room. There are pictures of girls on display. Probably the girls that are what working here. What are you staring here. at, creeper? I agree. What? All the dots. I'm just looking around. Pictures of maids on display. Jeez. Give me a break. I'm trying to solve a murder here. Cash register. Register near the doorway. The club is located on the second floor of the building. We use the elevator to get here. Iva, can you check the operation records of this elevator? Searching. All the dots. Found it. The elevator records are sent automatically to building management. According to the record from yesterday, from 6.30 p.m. until the body was found, this elevator stopped on the second floor only once. At 8.55 p.m., the weight of the car's cargo was approximately 310 pounds. So the victim, uh, so the murderer is about 160 pounds. So the elevator only stopped on the second floor only last night. 8.55 p.m. with 310 pounds inside. Iba, did you get anything from the surveillance camera? Unfortunately, no. All of the recordings from local surveillance equipment have been erased. Uh, of course. What about backups? There are none. Nothing was uploaded to the cloud either. So how does that happen? So there's no footage of incidents. How did how does the how did the murderer wipe away all the footage? Or how did he turn it off? Place is up on the second floor. There's nothing out the window. I think I would like to talk to the owners of this place and ask them those questions. Okay. I think I have looked at everything except the police officers, Mizuki and the counter, and of course these uh, beer kegs, which are the obvious things to look at. So let's start with the policemen first. The officer is guarding the doorway. What's the status? Nothing special. Okay. The officer is guarding the doorway. All right. Let's have a chat with Mizuki. Mizuki is looking at the spot where we found Renju. Hey, are you doing okay? Oh, sorry. Just staring. If you're having a hard time, you can tell me. I'm fine. It's not like the body is lying here. All the dots. Uh, noticing anything strange? Um... You were telling me earlier that you could spot things only a daughter would know. I know what I said. I'll tell you if I notice anything. Let me get rid of that for a second so I can move it over a little. Um... You can leave if you need to. I thought I already told you. Sitting around rotting away in the hospital would be worse. Still... I know what you're trying to say. For a little girl to find her dad like that and then want to go back to the scene? You think it's totally weird, right? Yeah, it's a little bit creepy. All the dots. In fairness, it is also weird for an adult policeman to acquiesce such a request from a child. Yes, I agree. All the dots. But this is what I wanted. I didn't want to run away from it. Date feels like he's being teamed up against him by the two women in his life. I wanted to confront it. I didn't want... to be weak. You're not weak. Do you remember what you saw last night? How could I forget? I'll never be able to get that image out of my head. Not until the day I die. All the dots. No saying anything strange? Did you hear me? I said I'll tell you if I see anything. Do you notice anything strange? Jeez, you're pushy. 
Fishy men are seen as desperate. This is why no one likes you. Wow. Besides, Date? Hmm? Never mind. Just do your investigation or whatever. What was she gonna say? Now is not the time to worry about such things. Or maybe now is really the time. Okay? Yeah, I am. Don't you have an investigation to do? Or are you stalling? Mizuki acts tough. But deep inside. Yeah, poor girl. Alright, time to look at the counter. Oh, that's just... Uh, man. The time of discovery was 10.20 p.m. You of course already know this, but you and Mizuki were the first to discover Renju's corpse. The body was hanged from the ceiling, similar to how a fish would be. A thick hook was embedded in the upper jaw, and the wires connecting to the hook were strung up on one of the ceiling beams. I haven't seen something like this since, uh... Uh, time and played until dawn where you can get one of your characters killed by having him get hanged on a hook There was also a hook on the other end of each wire The three beer kegs were attached to these hooks. We have found no fingerprints I think that was the first time I played the game. That was my first death um, Because in order to avoid that death you have to do Very specific things and I didn't know it at the time. So yeah, I, I have a feeling most people who played Until Dawn probably saw that death. Avengers Corpse was found hanging from the ceiling beam over the counter. And of course now we're playing Little Hope, which is great. I'm really enjoying Little Hope. Uh, Man of Madon was fantastic. And I just hope Little Hope can match it. Uh, face, neck. Let's start with the neck. There are deep impressions left on his neck. Correct. The face shows clear signs of congestion, along with petechia around the face and throat. Both are clear evidence of asphyxiation. So was he killed due to that first and then hung on the hook? Any indication of the murder weapon? Most likely a twisted piece of cloth. The culprit approached Renju from behind and wrapped the cloth around his neck, choking him in an attempt to suffocate him. The specific cause of death is cerebral circulation failure due to vessel closure in the neck. But more simply, the suspect strangled Renju to death from behind. Do we have an estimated TOD? Yesterday, around 8 p.m. So Renji was murdered about two hours before Mizuki and I found the body. Renji's approximate time of death was yesterday, Saturday around 8 p.m. It was strangled by a cloth or something similar from behind. It's a shame that we didn't get here a little bit faster. We may have seen the killer. The autopsy report discovered the presence of benzodiazepine. It is a common sedative. The dosage found in the victim's bloodstream was extremely high. Why'd you have to do that if you killed him by strangling him to death? It can be assumed that Renju's cognitive functions were heavily impaired before his death. That's kind of weird. So sedatives were detected in Renju's body. He was barely conscious before he was killed. I'm trying to click on the right eye. The right eye is still there. The left eye has been pulled this out. This case bears similarity to Shoko's. The left eyeball was removed while the victim was still alive. Renju, Renju and Shoko both had their left eye taken before they were killed. Okay. See the exit button flash at me. All right. Inspector. Another inspector. I hope we find some clues. Uh, what's your name? What? I was asking for your name. All the dots. <laughs> All the here we go again dots. My name is Kagami. <laughs> I'm calling it right now. Kagami is a serial killer because he is so upset at us constantly forgetting his name that he wanted to pay us back for it. <laughs> I can do it again. It's Kagami. Kagami. I told you, it's Kagami! This never gets old. I told you my name like five times! I of course remembered his name. His name is engraved in my mind. His name is... Hey you, what's your name? Just <laughs> horrible all the time. Seriously? It's Kagami! <laughs> Stop bugging him, it's rude. Excuse you, my best friend, uh, Kagami and I are having a conversation. <laughs> yeah, don't spoil our fun. What? Your name? Oh, we got a trophy for that. Hey, how about that? 
Oh, it's just so good. Uh, are you getting enough rest? <sighs> no, not these past few days. I thought so. Once this is over, get some rest, all right? You too, Detective Date. Any leads? No, we didn't find anything today. Ms. Pacto is investigating something. Time to check the beer kegs. Any an evidence marker. It's a little marker that set up, up a track evidence at the scene. Renji's corpse is hung up by three wires. The wires were tied to three kegs. Each keg has a capacity of 20 liters. All three kegs were filled in approximately 55 pounds each. I think we've checked everything we need to. I agree. We should compile our evidence and inferences. I think so too. I, I'm pretty sure I explored every single spot in this uh place. Mizuki, you ready to leave? What? But we aren't done investigating. What do you mean? There are still people I want to talk to. Yeah, I want to talk to the owners, to be honest. Wait, wait, wait. Counter. Ranger weighed about 60 pounds, one six pounds. He was definitely murdered somewhere else and carried here. So he was murdered by someone who only weighed 150 pounds. I mean, that should help us with... Well, maybe. Um, Izuka is looking this way. Any place that you can think of that you don't know about? Do you want to talk to Iris? Do you want to talk to Ota? Uh, any place you think I don't know about? Well, there is one place. Have you heard of Golden Yokocho in the Entertainment District? Nope. Daddy used to go to a place called Marble a lot. Maybe they know something about him. You want to talk to Ota? Yeah. Ota is in here all the time. He might know something. Oh, really? I'll call him. Ota's phone is broken. He dropped it in a puddle. Sounds like Ota. He's so clumsy. We'd have to talk to him in person. He's probably at Lemna Skater Matsushita Diner. I wonder if we're going to get the option of, like, multiple places to go. Do you want to talk to Iris? Yeah. Daddy owned Lemna Skate and Iris works for them. She used to work here, too. So she might know something. I'll call her. Mizuki tried calling Iris, but there was no answer. Oh, I hope nothing happened to her. Have any idea where she might be? I don't know. Iris is into a lot of things. Let's head out. Lemniscate, Matsushita Diner, and Marble. Let's head out. Okay. Sweet. All right, well, my friends, my name is The Flightless Bird. This is your Soybeans Game channel, and I got exactly what I wanted, which was we have an option of where to go. You know what I may do is, um, I I'll do what I did in the, I'll do what I did in the Zero Time Dilemma series, and I'll go ahead and uh, roll a random dice to see where we're gonna go. Uh, I had a lot of fun with that in CTD, so let me go ahead and do that. Okay, so we got the numbers 1 to 4 for Menchie to Diner, 2 to 5 for Lemnus Gate, and 3 to 6 for Golden Yoko Cho. And rolling the dice, we get a 6. The next time on Air There's So Many Files, we'll go to Golden Yoko Cho. And Yoko Cho? Yoko Ko? It's well Yoko Cho. Yeah, uh, I just love doing randomized numbers. And that's a lot of mystery to a game, never knowing where we're going to go. And just let the fates decide. I love you guys all so much, and until next time, so long. And take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you would like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. Please be sure to like and subscribe for more. Also, please do not forget, you matter. You are brilliant and you are loved. And you should always remember to be true to yourself. Don't let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly feathered flightless bird. Till next time.